We've been using them since the early day of man to help forecast the weather. This week we're talking about clouds and their types on Weather 101. Hi there, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back to answer your questions about the weather. The new Avengers movie came out this weekend, Age of Ultron, so I thought I'd wear my Captain, I don't know, can you see that? Captain America, Captain America shirt, this week in honor of that, and give you a quick rundown of the movie, so if you don't, I'm just kidding, this is a video about weather. Actually, in this week's video, we're gonna be talking about a weather topic, of course, and this week we're talking about the different types of clouds that are up in the sky. In a previous video, we talked about what forms clouds, how clouds are made. And this week we're gonna talk about the different types of clouds that are up in the sky. In general, there are three different types of clouds up in the sky, cumulus, stratus, and cirrus. And what we're gonna do in this week's video is talk a little bit about each one of these types, how they got their name, and what they mean to forecasting. Let's start with cumulus clouds since they're the most versatile type of cloud up in the sky. Cumulus clouds are the clouds that are the big white puffy clouds and they look like a whole bunch of cotton balls piled together. In fact, cumulus clouds get their name from the Latin word cumulo, which means heap or pile. The bottom or base of these clouds is actually very low to the ground. In fact, some of them are so low they're only about 1800 feet off the ground. And depending on the height of the cloud, that'll tell you what type of weather that cloud is producing. If they're very short, puffy clouds in a clear blue sky, that usually means very good weather. But if they're very tall, dark, and gray, that can mean very bad storms. Stratus clouds aren't the best type of cloud to see up in the sky because they're very flat and gray, and they're very uniform looking. They don't make for a very pretty sky. In fact, the word stratus comes from the Latin word strato, meaning layer. These types of clouds usually form a little higher than the standard cumulus cloud, about 6,000 feet up in the atmosphere. And they generally mean very overcast skies. You know, those gray cloudy days that just kind of drag on for the entire day. They can also produce drizzle throughout the entire day, steady rain, or even some steady snow. And the last group of clouds we'll talk about are called cirrus clouds. In Latin, the word cirrus actually means curling lock of hair. So as the name would suggest, these clouds look very thin and wispy up in the sky. In fact, they actually look a little bit like a feather or the mane of a horse or something like that. These clouds form very high up in the atmosphere, about 16,000 feet or so on average. That's so high, in fact, that most of these types of clouds are made of ice crystals instead of water droplets. If you see these types of clouds in a clear blue sky, that generally means very nice weather is gonna be around the area for a few days. Underneath each one of these groups of clouds are subgroups of clouds. For example, if I add the word nimbo to any of these groups of clouds, it means that that type of cloud is producing rain. Nimbo stratus clouds, for example, are those gray, flat, layered clouds that we talked about on overcast days but those clouds are producing rain. A cumulonimbus cloud is a very tall, puffy, white cloud in the cumulus group that's commonly associated with storms, severe weather, and tornadoes. And these general types of clouds can actually mix together and create combination names for clouds. For example, cirrostratus clouds are very flat like stratus clouds, but they form very high up in the atmosphere like cirrus clouds. Knowing these different types of clouds and what they mean can help you forecast the weather. In fact, we've been doing it for centuries before we came up with computer models to help us predict the weather. In general, there's just these three groups of clouds and everything kind of falls underneath that. But there are a lot of different types of clouds out there. So if you'd like to learn more about all the different types of clouds that you see in the sky in your area, I'll put a link down below in the description to a cloud atlas. And that'll do it for this edition of Weather 101. Thanks for watching everybody. And remember, if you have a weather related question, just drop them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them on another edition of Weather 101. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well at Weather 101 Next. Until next time, see ya.